We all reach times in our life where we really need some kind of change. We want to become a person of action. We want things to change in the circumstances of our life, but sometimes it feels like we just don't know how to do that. And we can live just in constant frustration. I want to draw you a simple picture, a diagram, talking about the three-step human and how it leads to transformation. First of all, let's look at what I call the, the no-step human. The no-step human, they live their life in a box. They live in isolation. Inside of that box of their life are their problems, but they literally, they, they've so given up any chance of a different kind of life that it's like they're living in a box. They don't even try or think that anything out there can change them. They've just, they've thrown in the towel in life and they've decided this is what I am and I'm just going to see if I can make myself at least feel happy while I'm living in this box. Then we have the one-step human. This is a person that's, metaphorically speaking, they live in a hole. There is help out there for them and they, they look up wondering what can help me, but they have no hope. They're living in this hole that gives them no clarity and they just don't believe that anything can change at all. So they're just kind of hopeless. This person, number one, lives in isolation. Person number, this person here lives in desperation. Then there's person, what I call the two-step human. This is someone that actually does reach out for help. They, they, they go to a resource, they, they read a book, they go to a podcast, they maybe go to a conference, and they're looking for something to help them change. But the problem is they think that if they go to the conference, the conference is going to change them. They feel like if they read the book, the book is going to change them. If I pray, God's going to change me. This is the two-step human. This person lives in a circle of information. This person is stuck in a traffic circle, a roundabout, where their life just circles with information. And the frustration grows because they feel like they're doing something to change them, but nothing changes them. And so they keep going and looking for the next book to read. W will this book change me? Will that course change me? Will this thing change me? But they're missing a critical step that the three-step human understands. You see, the three-step human, they go to some kind of source for help which is critical for all of us. We all need help. But this person understands this is step one. Step two is this, representing that when I go to the source for help, I then have to do something with the information so that I can have transformation. You see, this person, they're just two steps. Step one, is I read the book. Step two, I hope it changes me. It doesn't work that way. The information becomes transformation when I take step two, which means I have to practice the principle. At the place of help, I have received information. There is a principle that I can apply to my life, but I've got to practice the principle. This step two is the practice of the principle. After I take the step, I receive number three, which is the power of the principle. But the power of the principle only happens once I've practiced the principle. This person lives on a path of transformation. Once again, this person, isolation. They've given up on any type of help for their life. This is what I am. This person lives in desperation. They want change. They just have no belief that it can happen. This person lives in desperation. 
This person lives in a cycle of information and it's so frustrating because they get information and nothing happens. They get information and nothing happens and they wonder why is nothing happening? The three-step person understands the power of one, two, three. I get information. I get a principle. I've got to practice it. After I practice it, then I get the power from it. Let me give a simple example. A person could reach out to someone who knows a, a great way to work out for to develop physical strength or flexibility. You have to do something, you have to practice it to then get the results or the power from it. That's one example, but this happens in relationships as well. Oftentimes in relationships, we'll get advice on something that we need to do. We've got to do it and then get the results of it. We can't just hear information and then do nothing. Information doesn't change us. We take practical steps with our own two feet, with our own voice. And our practical steps cause the information to become transformation in our life.